boy oh boy things are getting scary the biggest fight is going to be these hours tdi right now are rushing to the defense of the dora and <laughs> there are a lot of people we also have some fs players which separate on the couple places uh to be honest they are fighting and supporting here the tdr uh, on the push of the of the dora since tdr actually right now is a dora oh my god this is huge army this is huge army from the tdr and fs all together there's also a hydra <coughs> that is placed here but i think everybody from fs and tdr is going to go out of this place so the hydra is going to be left with no victims if i see correctly yeah basically not much to stop uh, this coming big ball from uh, FS and TDR, <laughs> oh my god, is going to be wild night, ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be wild night, oh my god, I really hope the game don't crash, I mean, <laughs> this is huge, but this is not only place where the things are happening, as you can see, FS and TDR are all together and Dora is trying to stop them. So far, TDR was uh, the hurtless running problem. But since they move on little on top, right now Dora have to care uh, about the TDR and FS uh, pokes. Or this is not poking. This is pure fight. This is huge, huge army here. And in the same time, we have other big army ready to push and this is on the other side and this is from the fs side right here i think if they didn't already rush in oh uh, well the hurtless ronin and some of the dora players are going to rush into the dragon place there is some people from the fs here it's I mean there are army here <laughs> it's not like 10 people but look at this thing here i cannot even write the names of the players here there's so so many so many people so uh i'm not so sure if the map are going to go for the fs chicken at this moment since if you watch my previous videos uh, i'm going to see here is little cat and mouse and <laughs> uh one time somebody is attacking the other one is attacking at this time so i'm not so sure is the map is going to attack no there is still a couple fs players on this side and a lot of map players maybe they have to use this moment when the fs is distracted to go for this tower and slowly progress through the chicken to the thunder rock but we're going to see it's going to be wild night it's a sunday but <laughs> uh we're going to see uh, what coming here so we see dora did dora actually push them from where all this dora is coming did they make a rally i'm not quite sure but there is a still some players did dora just push everybody i cannot believe that there were so many people there Okay, there's still some TDR and FS players fighting on this side, hitting the Hydra. But still, hitting the Behemoth is... I don't know, the Behemoth is still doing some damage. And in the same time, it's, uh, it, it's pointless to focus on the Behemoth. Maybe in cases like this, when there is just the Behemoth, there is no enemy uh, troops or legions coming on this side. Maybe it's going to be a good idea, but yeah, Dora Dora actually push out the whole TDR and FS. Oh no, there is actually here. Oh yeah, they're here. <laughs> I was thinking, oh, wait, what's going on? Where everybody's going? I mean, it, it was impossible. This is like 100 legions here to be destroyed for 30 seconds or maybe one minute. It's possible, but yeah, TDR and FS are strong. So yeah, right now, oh, they're trying to use the Alliance territory. Okay, they are using the Alliance territory to get some boost uh, for people who is not familiar. Uh, when you're fighting on the Alliance territory, I'm going to go just on the research, military, uh, I think it's this one. Yeah, 
PvP, defense in the territory 10% and here we have like attack 10%. So it's important for the people to fight on the territory. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, so they're using the territory and the boost from the territory. But still, the Dora have a lot of power. A lot of tier 5 players. I'm not so sure just this territory is going to and they're one big ball look look how dora is doing the banana formation right now and basically kill everybody here they're sticking together every mage is going to hit at maximum targets here but still there's not many dora players here there's a lot of castles but i think most of these people yeah they're attacking and basically from all the sides and they're they, everybody's here I'm not so sure how good idea is this. I mean, I totally agree. Going on the Alliance territory for the boost is fine. Uh, but sticking all together, I'm, I'm not so sure is this going to bring a uh, good outcome in, in general. So yeah, still FS is coming on this side. Oh my God, there's so many. There's so many. This is huge push. This is huge push. And from the TDR and FS, there is a lot of FS players here. Uh, as you can see, yeah, this is FS players and some TDR players. I mean, mostly it's TDR, obviously. <laughs> mostly it's the TDR players. They're trying to use this uh, Alliance territory, but yeah, let's see. Is the Hurtless Roaring going to push right now? I'm curious, are they going to... They're building right now, but I don't think FS is going to jump on them. Oh my god <laughs> the old strategy infantry in the in in the in the front lines and mages are archers are from behind so i think here the the important part or maybe the push is going to happen after they finish this tower and we're going to see what is going to happen i mean they may go for this tower and at the same time they may go for these two towers i'm not so sure also there is a tower here, but I don't think this one is going to catch up with this one. But there is going to be a push after this tower is, is done. Definitely. From the Hurtless Ruin. There is also Dora players here. Uh, I saw a couple Dora. Yeah, this is Dora. Also Dora players. But mostly it's Hurtless Ruin. I, I think the, the whole alliance is here. Those guys are, I don't know, very um very active and they do everything very well but so the tdr and fs right now oh they move out of this uh territory uh for, i i think they understand that i mean the territory is going to be helpful but it's not possible to do the banana formation if you're uh just stuck it on this uh, small land where is the territory and yeah, we're going to see what is going to happen. There is there was a lot of legions. Also, Dora is becoming very active. I don't know. I was thinking at some point that the Dora players was not that active, but last maybe couple of days they actually turn. Uh, they they actually are very active and yeah, huge turns up for this. I mean, imagine to have like ten billion <laughs> power alliance. And at the same time to not actually do that much. But yeah, slowly they're becoming very, very active. Right now they have to be active since TDR and FS is going to push them more and more. And they're going to try to get this Spire. They're going to try to get this Spire. Even though that is a huge, uh, huge road that they have to do. Oh my God, look, <laughs> uh, look how many schools that's huge uh so yeah there is a big road till the tdr actually somehow support fs but every every distraction is huge plus for the fs since right now uh tdr and and some of the fs players are pushing on this side and yeah the hurtless run is is going to be uh alone if all the Dora players actually go there and the FS so far in this fight uh, managed that very well I mean huge huge uh, salute salute or 
I don't know how to say it. Huge thumbs up for that, that the FS somehow managed to separate Dora and Hurtless Ronin. Either with the TDR or some pokes from here and there. Mostly the TDR was the destruction uh, alliance and the FS was the, the blade of this union. And FS take the dragon, right now they have to somehow keep Dora busy with TDR till the FS are handling uh, Hurtless Ronin. But we're going to see what is going to happen. I mean, TDR right now is no more a problem for the Hurtless Ronin. I mean, they still have a couple towers there, but I'm not so sure that the people are going to teleport there. Oh, they start build, building tower. Okay. Um... So yeah, we're going to see what is going to happen. Dora, most of the Dora players is going to be on this side, protecting against TDR and FS. Great activity <coughs> from uh, both sides. I mean, is this is the war we are looking for? People to be active, to fight, to have fun. Uh, there is no dead troops in the open field fight. So, <laughs> except if you put that policy that. I don't know who actually put Cursed Swords <laughs> as a policy, but yeah, it's just fun. You send your troops, you fight, you progress, or you defend, and at the end of the day, on the next day, you're going to have more troops. So yeah, I think right now... Oh, Mr. Sneaky, how's it going, my man? Uh, right now is going to be interesting on this side. How the door is going to have the handle the tdr problem since Hurtless ronin was splitted right now dora have to split between fighting fs and in same time fighting tdr i mean there is one thing i want to say about uh this strategy is working very well i mean the distraction strategy is working very well right now dora since they're in combination with map uh can also distract the FS by going for the Thunder Rock since FS power is focused on the other place or maybe they start collecting people and they may go for the push since there is just not many FS players here so this is also a type of distraction uh, of the FS players even if they send like uh, maybe five six seven FS players this is five six seven active at the moment players that is going to handle the map push for example and on the battlefield they're going to be five six players not there and if you se separate one alliance a uh, couple times on the couple places uh, <laughs> uh, even this alliance is so so active at the end of the day uh, there will be just no people i mean if you have to even if one alliance have 100 people online, if they have to send five people here, 10 people there, and five people on the other place, they are going to be 80 people for the main fight. So these 20 people are not going to be there. And like this, they cannot use the activity. This is applying for all the alliances here. Absolutely same for the Hurtless Ronin. They try to push FS in same time TDR was going from behind so they have to choose are they going to go for the dragon or are they going to go for the TDR to push them back and things like this actually happen <laughs> more and more and I think the future strategy is going to be something like this where the leaders have to decide okay we are attacked here and there uh, what we should do should we go and protect our behemoth for example or should we protect protect these towers or we push further and get good position over there it's going to be interesting i think people are learning faster the way how the the game work <laughs> i mean we're five season in this is like one year playing and i think more and more strategy is going to be developed in the next season and right now we have a lot of strategy uh, i was thinking to make a video about some of the alliance war strategy so write me down in the comments below if you want me to make a video about some of the strategies that the alliance are doing 
some of the aliens i think most of the aliens actually do it but yeah if you want this type of video just write me down so i think right now they're going to collect power again <laughs> yeah tdr and fs is start building I mean, only the FS at the moment is just building. And the Dora was trying to actually catch up here, this empty space, but I guess FS is going to take this one. I'm not so sure where this war here is going for. And what I mean by that is, okay, TDR and FS, let, let's for example, let's for example, think that the FS and TDR actually break this defense and they go further and in three days they manage to get the Spire. Let's get this scenario. Somehow Dora didn't manage to hold the defense and after three days the TDR and FS get the Spire. So from there what? I mean look at this. <laughs> look at this progression they have to do. You have the other Spire here. You also have a map over here that can easily support Dora in the fight. Let's imagine that for next uh, one week, FS and TDR get this part. They have to continue on this uh, by going on the plate. And okay, they may manage to go like this, by the way, <laughs> and actually don't go for this spire. Yeah, this spire, they may not go. So they can go from here, jumping, but there is other spire here and they can intercept the, the Dora from behind. I mean, it's possible, it's possible from first look, but yeah, I don't think the Dora is going to give it up that easy, this territory. So we're going to see what is happening. Uh, TDR and FS is very, very active right now. Also, the Dora players, they're building, but I'm curious what is going to happen with the Heartless Ronin and their new building here. Maybe they just start fighting. Oh, there's some pokes here and there from the FS trying to uh, catch up with some artifact. This juicy, juicy Ordo Niku combo or Crack combo. I'm not so sure what kind of heroes people are using. Uh, for their buildings it can be different but yeah so far there's like 30 legions or maybe 40 maybe 20 from the fs players waiting to engage and i think it's going to be very interesting when this tower get built so so far here we're waiting the tower get built and on the other side we're going to see what the tdr and fs is going to do are they going to keep fighting and trying to build since there is a lot of FS players here? Look at this. This is all FS players who is not close to the dragon. Those people cannot support right now. If, if there is an instant rush in the FS territory. I mean, they can teleport, but it's going to take some time to find a position, to send the army, the army to arrive and stuff like this. So going to be very interesting what is going to happen so hurtless ronin right now are building their tower <laughs> it's going to be very interesting what is going to be the next steps what is going to be the next steps from hurtless ronin and dora everybody's running away from here uh, i mean they yeah after they finish the tower is normal now i'm curious are they going to jump directly and try to destroy some towers there is a lot of S fs players right now i mean they collect they bring the legions they can since they have to support also tdr in their fight with the dora they also built towers there so i'm not so sure how the things are going to go right now uh we have the fight here between the Tor dora and uh and uh tf uh TDR and FS, uh, sorry if I sometimes say TFS, just yeah, FS and Dora. Uh, still, there are some people from the FS who is building, but the biggest fight is going to start right now. Uh, it's going to start right now. <clears throat> I'm not so sure. Okay, a lot of people from the FS already uh, teleport here. There's still some, uh, some place for more people to teleport 
just to come for the defense because this is going to be massive it's not only Curtis Ronin here there was a couple Dora players if I can see oh my god there's so many here I cannot even write the names <laughs> so we're going to see what is going to happen ladies and gentlemen <clears throat> we have couple Dora people here I mean this is Dora players not so sure is this a marksman's or mages i think everybody actually bring marksman's and ma oh my god <laughs> what is this emoji of the bertrand so I, I think people are getting ready for the big push or maybe they're going to wait for the tower to be finished it is like 20 minutes but i'm not so sure that they're going to wait i think they're going to just jump or maybe wait till everybody go to the discord or stuff like this since the real fight actually happened in the discord i mean the the commanding the leading the whole fight is in discord so it, it's not uh, through the chats just for the people who don't know i mean in those chats you see only people who don't know what is going on right there so maybe they're going to wait or maybe they're going to rush okay there's there is first people who is brave enough to step close to uh <laughs> to step little close to the fs and boy oh boy 26 legions in this alliance keep i'm not so sure how good is the alliance keep to be honest i mean to have these 26 legions inside and not actually have these 26 legions outside since only one legion is going to fire up from here and you have like 26 ticket inside so yeah <laughs> i'm going to see mordena is firing up her first troops but i don't think she's going to continue maybe some fs player is going okay okay fs okay fs is actually pushing FS is actually pushing, oh brother, I, I hope, I really hope my PC don't freeze right now. This is the only thing <laughs> I care right now, just my PC to survive, okay. There, there's some people who is AFK just by waiting the, the tower to be built. So we're going to see, now FS is not pushing that much, they try to make the banana tactic <laughs> i mean uh but here is the choke point everybody who enter here is going to be somebody who is going to get uh kill it very fast maybe we're going to see some rally i see more and more this tactic just sending a rally and most of the times this is a gorish rally and after the rally everybody is attacking since nobody want to attack a two million infantry rally and when they come for example at this place they just disband the rally and they jump on everybody who is here there is not many people from fs right now so i guess i'm just guessing there is going to be a rally somewhere maybe there is already i don't see any rally going on I, i'm 100 percent sure they're going to start with the rally I mean, uh, Hurtless Ronin do it like this, FS are doing like this, Dora are doing like this. I think this is a new strategy. Ah, okay, we see the first infantry jumping inside. So, <laughs> <clears throat> this is Wower is going to be the person who is going to start the rally. Uh, but what he's have to point, is there any ports here? Any port somewhere here <laughs> there's no place for nothing here so i'm not so sure where the rally is going to go maybe on this side somewhere here somewhere with okay i'm not going to look where there is uh, some kind of ports but they're going to pick something to rally right now and yeah there is there is a lot of people here oh my god this is going to be massive if the FS don't manage to hold this position, it's going to be perfect for the Heartless Ronin to even build their own uh, fortress here. 
maybe on this side i'm not so sure but yeah we're going to see what is going to happen it's not many fs people here so we're waiting for the rally normally it's taking like three minutes something like this and i think after the rally we're going to see a behemoth this is a new strategy <laughs> i mean in cow dragons people start the rally they catch up with this rally since nobody most of the times nobody's attacking this rally they go further till they manage to actually summon a behemoth on the enemy the tower and by summoning this behemoth they have the rally they have everybody pushing in the same time when the rallies go and they have a behemoth this is pure strategy absolutely great one <laughs> and all these alliances actually have uh, a behemoth fs even have the dragon on elite if i remember correctly i think they kill him on the elite so all the madlins gorish and everything just jump in the vc uh slower and i think at some point he's going to start the rally everybody's waiting for this rally and at the same time i'm just going to throw one eye what is happening on the other side between tdr and fs i think yeah fs just stop building this thing i guess since they they have to support somehow their buddies uh on the side of the dragon so yeah we're waiting for this rally okay the rally is starting okay here comes the gorish I, I think gorish is one of the best rally commanders if not the best one especially with this skill that is doing multiple uh, legion hitting i think it was like five surrounding legions so yeah the rally is coming here comes the big ball so we're going to see is fs is going to hold this is one of the most important battles this season is fs is going to hold so i'm not so sure is this a clever move i i'm, I'm not so sure where they're going to disbound the rally at some point they're going to disbound this rally so, oh brother this is huge amount of damage uh please please uh computer stay with me <laughs> oh brother the pink numbers oh the pink numbers this is huge damage i mean it's 29k 30k sorry my pc just crashed i mean that was huge war maybe i have to download the pc version since yeah with bull stack i i get crashes from time to time especially when there is a huge war and i don't see the rally are the, the rally just disappear i'm not quite sure but yeah Heartless Ryan, by the way, they have a lot of time to actually come back. There is still many people here that are not maybe in the Discord. I'm not so sure. But boy, this is this is huge. This is huge. They have to spread somehow. Uh the Heartless Ryan have to spread somehow since yeah, FS is going to do massive damage right now. Uh I I don't think it's a good idea to stay in this choco point. Bruh. Oh, brother. So many artifacts firing up. Okay. Still more and more people is coming, but if we check the map, is look how many schools. Look how far... <clears throat> How far is the people from the Heartless Ruin? Those people, those, those schools, do they actually go back to the people? It's going to take so much time. And all this time, FS can actually use it to continue uh, pushing. Ah. And yeah, FS have this thing that all the players is on one place. And this is very important in the fights. Even if you send your legions that is walking 10 minutes, you're going to have like maybe 8 minutes or 7 minutes till your legion come back to your castle. An extra 10 minutes to send your legion again. <laughs> like this, for 70 minutes, everything can actually... <clears throat> Sorry about that. 
uh, actually can finish here for 70 minutes. So it's better everybody to be here <coughs> on this side when the pushes are happening. Even though the TF uh, the FS is having less uh, less units, they can replace them very fast. I mean, all the castles are here. Look at this. This is the castle. The castle go here, and the people are sending again the legion, and they're sending again and again till the rest of the people are going to have like ten minutes in one direction till they go till they back, and this give the advantage of the FS to fight less fighters here. This is uh, very, very important. So <clears throat> I think everybody's here. There is a lot of turrets, but still people can easily send a lot of legions uh, right now. And boy, oh boy, it's a huge war. It's a huge war. There is still one Hydra, but I don't think this Hydra is on Elite. So it, she can do some damage, but yeah, look at the formation of the FS players. Basically, the choke point here is I I, I don't know. People are stuck at here. People are stuck at here, and they get huge amount of damage. Maybe somehow to push them and spread a little, since they're taking a lot of damage here. FS is fighting on the. Alliance territory, this is giving 10% attack and 10% defense. And in the same time, they're using this choke point here. I think at some point, if the things go wrong, the <coughs> FS is going to summon the, the dragon. The Hydra is going to die any moment. Okay, we're going to see what is going to happen. There's still power in every alliance, in the Heartless Throne, in the FS since they didn't actually fight that much uh last couple of days there was just a small fight and everybody's having their troops um, everybody's having their troops healed and ready to fight and right now the important thing is who is going to bring back uh the troops on the battlefield more faster if you can throw more and more troops insta instantly <clears throat> At some point, you're going to have overwhelming number of uh, of fighters. Uh, since the enemy, for example, can go back to their castle for 5 minutes and come back to the battlefield for 5 minutes. This is 10 minutes, something that no one here can afford 10 minutes. Here, we, here people cannot afford 1 minute. <laughs> Imagine 10 minutes. And yeah, most of the people are very, very far away. And most of them, they have to send their legions. Uh, there is legions going, legions come back. I mean, all this, all this uh, moving is something that you don't want to happen. You want all your people to be... And look at this. From the big bow, <clears throat> right now, the Curtis Ronin are looking more and more small since the, the there, there is just things are happening very slow by going on the positioning and start fighting so at some point the fs i think may actually win the fight here we're going to see of course we're going to see it, but yeah using allen's territory fast replacing the dead soldiers since also F fs have these uh, <laughs> schools but look how much travel those schools have oh my god they also have a lot of time but nah from here to the battlefield is not that much time it's not that much it's not like maybe six seven minutes so i think the heartless Ryan should start teleport on this side but there is no places since there is afk units here so yeah, <laughs> still we're going to see what is going to happen. This is something that I noticed that the just the travel time from the FS is um, way more small. I mean to replace the dead units on the battlefield. Uh, not dead units, let's say defeated legions, but slowly the 
FS start moving out of the battlefield, the moment the Hercules Royal come here is going to be the moment that they will have the biggest chance to actually get this tower and everything around here. But if I see the legions, uh, most of them are still healthy, but I'm not so sure. I mean, uh, look at this. It's on half HP or mostly full it. And if I check the FS legions, most of them are on full HP. So, I don't know. We're going to see. There is some Dora players, by the way. But, yeah. Uh, I, I guess the FS is going to push the push the Hurtus Ryan right now. So, yeah. Hurtus is going, uh, FS is going to manage to push uh, the Hurtus Ryan. Uh, they still continue building. This is basically upgrading, but they can start destroying the the enemy towers. Are we going to see what is going to happen? It's not that many legions. I mean, this is like maybe ten or fifteen players, or maybe twenty players. But yeah, FS is going to manage to to stop this huge attack. But in general, FS is having like 2 billion power more from the Hurtless Ryan. The only thing I think it should be done is actually Dora to start attacking from somewhere. <clears throat> Since FS, I don't know how they do it, but they manage very well that the Dora or Hurtless Ryan to stay out of the fight. I have never seen Dora and Hurtless Ronin fight uh, in the same time. Which, which is mind-blowing. I mean, <laughs> it's, it's just mind-blowing how the FS managed to keep one of the enemy out of the fight and they fight just one-on-one -on -one with a single of these alliances. And they have the power to actually... Uh, push any of the of the alliances right now in the server if Hurtless Ryan go one-on-one -on -one with FS they're going to lose if Dora go one-on-one -on -one with FS they're going to lose somehow FS managed to keep Dora and Hurtless Ryan separated or maybe they just decide to do it like this I mean to be fair I'm not so sure something like fair gameplay uh, fs fighting just with one alliance on the time i really don't know i really don't know but for like two weeks i have never seen curtis ronin and dora push together you may see something like this <clears throat> just one two people from the dora but everything is curtis ronin oh here we have one more other dora player <laughs> it's just I don't know how they do it how the FS managed to do it and huge turns up on their side to actually manage to keep Hurtless Ryan and Dora separated and never fight them uh, together since if Hurtless Ryan go on this side and Dora go on this side uh, it is going to be very hard for the FS but this this never happened this never happened it's maybe part of the deal that they do, or that FS is doing great job with the TDR, keeping the Dora, the Dora busy, or just FS is better from Dora and Hurtless Ryan. I don't know. I, I don't know what is the case, but every time is just one on one the fights. And yeah, they managed to do it. They do it. So. Yeah, this will be for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you do, hit one like, subscribe, and see you in the next one.